Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy freaking Monday. Today we're talking about Doherty Dozen, because we talk about Doherty Dozen a lot. But first, coffee. Somebody sent me this. It is from Meredith. She sent me uh, this. She said, I had to buy this. I saw it in person. I had to buy it. And I appreciate this. This is a little... I don't know if it's just a decoration for your desk, but that's what it looks like. A Christmas ornament or something? I'll probably put it in the Christmas tree. I love it. It's going to go in the DCP Christmas tree. So I appreciate you for sending me this beautiful gift. I love it. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about this because this Mad Mama released a video. <laughs> and I've been asking a lot of influencers who, you know, exploit their children to explain to me or justify, give me a reason why it's okay to do that. And she attempted it. She gave it a go. And so we're gonna look at that. She's weird. Anyway, let's do it. So I didn't know who this Mad Mama was at all until this video dropped, so congrats. Now you're in Alicia's world. That's kind of how this works. This Mad Mom has 336,000 followers, which is a, that's a lot of followers on TikTok, okay? She is, uh, I, I, I don't know anything about her, basically. I've heard in one of her videos, she said she's a grandmother. She looks like she's like 35. So likely somebody who hasn't made a lot of great choices in her life. Um, her YouTube channel has, holy shit nuggets. Her YouTube channel has 3,000 subscribers on it. Um, mother to 12, grandmother to one, former teen mom. Oh, there it is. Teen mom. There we go. Artist. S see life through my eyes. This is my reality. Blah, blah, blah. So basically, yeah, she's teen mom. She has 12 kids. And I'm just thinking to myself, Netflix? I don't know. Use production? Something? I don't know. I don't know any of them are adopted. I don't know. But, uh, so basically she, she dropped this video about Alicia because Alicia became her best friend, I guess. And so let's, let's hear her reasoning. So someone said... Um, I guess Alicia invited to the movies, which is the video we're going to start on today. It's the day in the life video where Alicia took her kids to the movies. Everybody's been asking me to cover it, so I'm going to do it. And so she called this mad mom up, and this mad mama went, and I guess Alicia paid for the whole trip because Alicia has to pay her friends to hang out with her. That's like a burn from the 90s, right? Yeah, you have to pay your friends to hang out with you. That's a burn. But Alicia does have to, in fact, pay her friends to hang out with her, okay? Because nobody wants to hang out with Alicia. But if you're going to get something from her, I'm sure she'll be fine with it. So let's take a look at this. Alicia Doggerty from the Doggerty Dozen is one of my very best friends. Alicia Doggerty. Uh, maybe she's stuffed up. Friends. We've been friends for a couple of years now. Since social media. Not since before social media, so you heard that. Life can be hectic, and we don't get to hang out nearly as much as we'd like to. But she offered to pay to bring our families to the movies to celebrate Marvelous's 10th birthday. Of course, one of her kids' name is Marvelous. This one is a crunchy granola artist type weirdo, right? She's into anime and shit. I don't even know this woman. A hundred percent she's into anime. I don't even know where I'm getting that from, but I can hear it already. The anime subtitles in the house. So I'm guessing you just don't know what exploit means. Okay, so we don't know what exploit means. So I put the definitions of the different types here for you to see. Okay, well, let's read that, shall we? What are the three types of exploitation? First of all, there's only three? Okay. Thanks for Googling it and finding the first thing that ever happened that popped up. You're dumb already. Congrats. Types of exploitation. SDX exploitation, which is when someone is deceived, coerced, or forced to take part in sexual activity. Labor exploitation. Got that? Labor? Domestic servitude. <laughs> forced marriage, forced criminality, organ harvesting. Organ harvesting? Holy, there's a ton more exploitation, by the way. Tons more. There's many ways to exploit somebody of something that doesn't belong to you. On these channels, these moms that have these 12 kids, they exploit not only the children through labor exploitation, I don't care what you say, even though these kids are at the movies, they're working. That's labor. So F off, asshole. Second of all is domestic servitude. I think that means like the exploitation of someone that's serving the home. I don't know what that really means, but... That almost seems like the same thing. Like, these kids exist in these worlds, especially in Doherty Dozen's world, to work for the channel. So, you're already wrong, this mad douchebag! But organ harvesting, yeah, don't, don't do that. I really want to give you the benefit of the doubt, but I'm failing to see what type of exploitation... <laughs> is having a birthday... <sighs> okay, so... 
uh, before she continues, she's like, what type of expectation is having a birthday party? That's a great question and a really good straw man argument. Not, it's a terrible, it's a, even for a straw man argument, that's a shitty argument, okay? Where's the expectation? It's just a birthday party. Here's where the expectation is. You're filming it for content for the internet. You dumb asshole. Go back to watching Sailor Moon or something because you're not good at this, okay? Where's the expectation? As she shows them filming the kids in the middle of the theater, there's like 24 kids there and they're like taking up a huge space so they can film it for their content. What do you mean where's the exploitation? Damn it, you guys are stupid. Party at the movie theater. Why is Alicia stand like that? She's all frumps. She just shapes all the time now. We definitely didn't. Alicia's got bad hips. If she, if, she, if she falls down the stairs, she's going to be in a walker for the rest of her life. Gain any money from it. Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. listen. Gain any, we definitely didn't gain any money from it. We spent a lot of money. In fact... Excuse me? Maybe you didn't, and I'm sure, because I didn't see a video on your thing about it, but Alicia damn well made money on it. Would you like to see how much she made so far just on this video? Let's take a look, shall we? Okay. We definitely didn't make any money on we it. Are, are you... <laughs> You damned liar! You made so she made sixty. I don't know if you can see this, sixty-seven thousand views two weeks ago on this. Her view counts are in the shitter, which is good. Sixty-seven thousand views is not nothing. She made money on this. Okay. Also, seven point one thousand downvotes. Now I clicked it. You gotta make sure I downvote that. Seven thousand downvotes. Also, seven thousand downvotes for three thousand upvotes. Her ratios are getting out of hand. She's in like the negative ratio. You wonder why she's only getting 67,000 views now? That's because of the hard work you guys have all been doing here downvoting these videos. Congrats, you guys are doing the Lord's work. You're stopping exploiter. And the way you're stopping her is so she can't make any money on YouTube, okay? Anyway, the woman just asked and I just wanted to answer her. Where does she make money? There you go, dumbass. She makes money by exploiting her children on YouTube. Not all the time, not every video she does is that, but this is one of those things. So already you failed multiple times. Man, I... I, something tells me this girl didn't finish school. It cost me $60 in gas just to go see her. I didn't even ask how much she spent on the movies and the popcorn. For well, we'll tell you. For us. There Are those kids each getting a f literal wheelbarrow full of popcorn? I guess we'll start in the video. We'll find out soon. There was no organ harvesting. There was no arranged marriages. There was no forced labor. The kids. <laughs> there you go. Yes, it is forced labor. It is forced labor. I don't care what you say. These kids cannot give you consent to what you're doing. I don't care if you've asked them. I don't care. They can't give you consent. It is forced labor. These children are working without their consent. There's no. You probably don't even pay your kids this matter. You probably don't even make it look like this woman probably doesn't make a lot of money like Alicia makes a lot of money. So that's what I'm saying to you. Her content is shit. It look, like The content looks like you could smell it type of thing wanted to be in the picture got in the picture and i think they stood there for what 37 seconds how is this woman really this stupid right now does she not think that someone would just say the things i'm saying right now so what she's saying is look they're only in this picture first of all this video is about a minute long already so you're already lying there's been nothing but children in this video you're talking about and then you're just saying look they only stood in the picture for like three seconds you dumbass alicia just made a, is a there's probably an hour long video i'm gonna snark on about this how dumb are you man I hope you're teaching your, I hope someone else is teaching your children. Most kids don't really think of it as work to stand next to. Doesn't matter what kids think of it. Doesn't matter. It is what it is. It is child labor because they are part of content that makes you money. That is your business is to be a social media influencer. Therefore, they are working. I don't care what this woman, damn, you're dumb. They're friends. The only other types of exploitation are criminal behaviors, and there is nothing criminal going on here. This is just two moms. We're a couple of moms sharing our lives on social media. People have been sharing their lives on social media since MySpace days. You're just salty that TikTok pays people to record themselves making dinner and hanging out with her. Did she just admit in this frame that she makes money filming her kids? Did she just admit that? We're just salty about that? You're damn right we're salty about it. Everybody should be salty about the exploitation of children. So she just goes on to like, look, we're not murdering our kids. So, <laughs> so good. This woman is a, an idiot. And too bad she doesn't have a lot of good content because I would snark the shit out of it. But I don't want to because I are watching her content. Even the minuscule amount I've already watched, I feel icky watching. I feel dirty. That's, I, I can, I, 
I didn't know there was someone worse than Alicia. We found it. Moms and their kids getting together and watching a movie. Hopefully now that you've been educated that you didn't know the definition of the word exploit, you can stop using it incorrectly. Oh, okay. She definitely shut us all down, everybody. Let's pack it up, DCP gang. Get the little stick with the little, you know, the thing, and you carry it and walk away. We're done. She definitely shut us down. We, we're we sorry. We're sorry, this bad mama. You are the one, finally, who has come out of all the people we talk about, and you definitely just proved us all wrong. Damn. I didn't think this day would come, but he, yet here it is. <laughs> you absolute donut. And she's like, we're just a couple of moms. Here's what you are. You're a couple of exploiting assholes is what you are. And you, you're admitting it, which is good. I'm glad you're admitting it. So here's another video quickly I downloaded. Do you or do you not feel bonita? I feel bonita. Let me tell you this. I don't know what bonita means. You don't look bonita. Whatever that means. Or nor do you look like you feel bonita. Wonderful, because you look bonita. She looks like she drank too much red Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? Like just, and it's like when the kid comes in from the summer, it's like, like in the 80s, remember in the 80s, when come in like, I'm so thirsty, and you get like the Kool-Aid, you make, it's like, like 15 cups of sugar in it, and you're like, and there's like this giant Kool-Aid stain, that's what she looks like. The Kool-Aid man, he punched her right in the lips. Look, we're not, it's only two seconds of yumming. And then she shows you how to, how long it takes to get kids to sit down for a photo. She's been wonderful and supportive. You're just saying this, whatever your name is, because she paid for your kids to go to the movies. Because clearly you can't afford it. And this woman likely could go get a real job, but she likes the minuscule amount she makes on TikTok. Because she doesn't make a lot. I promise you that. You can already tell that this mad mama is nowhere on Alicia's level when it comes to making money. Alicia's probably trying to help her get there by... See, they're friends... But she's trying to use Alicia to, to grow her platform. That's exactly what's happening. And Alicia's happy too because Alicia has no friends. So anybody who would lend their love to Alicia or friendship, she's going to grasp on this point because she has lost everybody in her life that supported her. Everybody. Nobody likes Alicia. She is one of the most toxic creators. And here's some proof. So family-minded, whatever. Clearly they're family-minded. They're family-minded and they're like, yeah, exploitation's right. Created a most popular TikTok influencer family list. At the top, at number 24 is Tate and family. Don't know who they are. This is just basically going to serve to be a list of people I'm going to go snark on. Uh, the Williams, uh, family life, family nomads. Something going on with family nomads I've been tracking for a while. We're going to talk about it. The Iyoti family, the Harfins. Family for kids with a Z. T and J. Man, these people suck. There's Heather Bell at number 14. They don't suck. I like them. Jonathan Jolie can kiss everybody's ass on planet Earth. The ca the Crabs family. McFarlane's. Fluellen's family. I don't know. Half these people. That's crazy. Cargo Shorts dad. The Ace family. Those people are assholes. Who would put those people on a list? Those assholes. Team Two Moms. Great name. Sheep Family Singers. Oh, Sharp Family Singers. Also terrible, probably garbage. Andrea Spada from the Royalty Family. Are you disgusting. Wait, where did you get this list? You Have you not been seeing the internet? She's an ex-porn star. Great choice. The Farah fam. Farah! They look like Kardashians that you ordered off the Wish but you wanted a bunch more. Looks like artificial intelligence created the Kardashian family, but you added a bunch more brothers and sisters. Um, Jason Coffey, and then at number one is the LeBrant. The tw oh, I'm gonna do a video about them. Since Everly's dad passed away, Cole has been just like living on cloud nine. I don't care what that sounds like to you guys. You know it. Because as soon as Tommy passed away, Cole started a channel with Everly. It's disgusting what they're doing. And they moved and everything. They didn't. They were staying in California likely because they had to stay there because Tommy was the dad and they had to stay there for visitations. As soon as Tommy dies, they're like, they upended their whole life and they left. They pieced right out of there. And I think Cole's mom is now doing OnlyFans. <laughs> oh my God. Classic. Just the internet. Just full of classy people. But the reason I'm saying this is because Doherty doesn't does not exist on this list. And you know that's pissing her off a little bit. You know that's good. You know that she's a little bit salty. But she's got this mad mom on her side, so she's got everybody she needs. Friggin' Kool-Aid lipstick. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at the video of the day in the life everybody wanted me to cover because of something or other. That rhymed. That's cool.
Anyway, I'm sure we'll write a song. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen. Do you guys not miss the dun, dun, dun? You don't miss that? I miss that. I miss it. And this is a day in the life of a mom to 12 kids on spring break. We did go away for spring break, but that was last weekend. Now we're home. We've just kind of been hanging out at the house, catching up. I'm still in. Catching up on what? On what? Tank top. I'm not going to put my shirt on until. I don't care. I'm done with my hair and makeup. <laughs> Look at this freaks frame. You know I'm good at it. But first, coffee. That cup is toxic now. Um, yeah, I'm just getting into my hair and makeup now. Try harder. We have a busy day. We have an orthodontist appointment for Jordan. I gotta run to the store, grab some cupcakes for a birthday party today. We are going to see the new Mario movie at the movie theater with our friends. Um, for her son's birthday. Why is she, again, why is Miss Mad Mama relying on you to pay for her son's birthday party? If you can't afford 12 children, don't have 12 children then, hey? That's it. You know how, how expensive children are? If you have to live in squalor, and I don't know what, if that's the house that I saw them taking the picture at, that house looked like it was the three bedroom house. So this bad mama, I'm sure I'm, people are gonna let me know about you. I'm sure I'm gonna find out a lot, okay? But if you have 12 children in a house that small, plus it sounds like one of them has their own child. So it looks like you have like 13 people plus the parents. So 15 people in a tiny ass house like that. Shame on you. That is selfish. I don't care what anybody says. I Have a big family, fine. But then make yourself available to work harder so you have money so your children can have a normal life. That's what I'm saying. Like if already you can't give the kids in love and support they need because there's too many of them. And that's the case for any large family. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care. Like, we're looking at uh, Not Enough Nelsons. I hate that family. They have a castle, and they still can't give the kids what they want. So I'm never going to be an advocate for large families just because those kids, and I'm not saying this is for every large family, but for the majority of large families and for 100% of large families that exist on YouTube, there's just no possible way these kids get the attention and love that they deserve. They just won't. It's never going to happen. You can't convince me otherwise either. It's never. You're never going to be able to convince me because I can. I have eyeballs. So anyway, if that's if that's the case, and she's relying on someone else to pay for her kids' birthday parties, get better at life, make more money. Then give your kids a better opportunity. Give your kids some better opportunities. And then being on TikTok and making a thousand bucks a month isn't helping. And don't touch my hair straightener. It's hot. What's up, Bodie? Did this get ruined? Yeah, we got Jordan ruined it. Sorry. I'm sorry. Piss off. I'm doing my makeup. Okay, bye. She's not going to see. If this is a parent whose kid comes up to you crying with an issue, and my kid does this. We're all parents. We all do this. Sometimes you're busy. I get that. But it seems like Alicia's always busy, right? If my kid came up crying, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm stopping what I'm doing to help you out because that's what parents are supposed to do. And clearly they're not going to Josh because where is he? Out in the woods sniffing his nuts? I don't know where he is. He's a mystery. And so she's like, okay, bye. And it smells like... Here was the one second of attention you wanted. They grown back the big spot. Don't mind the dirty clothes. Haven't gotten to that yet. We know you haven't got to anything yet. Because you're always on a camera. Oh. Now beat it, kid! I'm on the freaking phone with these people that pay your bills! Okay. Um, yeah. Nana and Papa are stopping by today. We have... Nana, you son of a bitch. Slowly been replacing all of the kids' dressers in our house with these really durable, custom-built, handmade by the Amish out by where Nana and Papa live. They live in the country. Um, and so as they've been built, this has been like a year-long process because it takes time to build things by hand with real wood. Like, I'm talking... Nana and Papa went in, chose out the tree. They chose out the tree, did they? Like, tree stomp of the wood, and from there... The tree stomp of the wood. Yeah. I guess that is a technical term for just choosing the type of wood you're going to use. I guess. I'll allow it or something. Idiot. He took it and turned it into a dresser. Um, you've probably seen them. They're in the girls' room so far. And... I don't dash. care. Okay, whatever. Uh, Piss off. We gotta take it. Some of us came home a little bit sick from Nickelodeon. We took COVID tests. They were negative. It was just like a minor 
24 hour bug thing. It's because your kids are dirty because your kids don't clean themselves. You don't bring hand sanitizer. Nobody brushes their hair. Everybody wears dirty clothes because you can't do anything. Your kids get sick because they don't have any healthy habits. And I mean, I expect it. If you have 12 kids, somebody's getting sick and that's, that shit's going to spread through everybody. So why don't you just take care of your kids first instead of putting a camera on? Have you ever seen any of your kids had their hair done ever once or brushed their hair once? Have you ever seen any video of their children where their hair is brushed? I have yet to see one. So that's on Alicia. That's not on her children. She needs to teach these kids healthy habits and she doesn't. No, no, health, no healthy habits. No eating, no exercise, nothing. Healthy habits do not exist in this home. Saying thank, being thankful for things, that's a healthy habit. Nope. They have zero healthy habits, these children. None of them do. So we're kind of like still recovering from that. And so what we're going to do, we're all got this bug or whatever. So we're all going to go to the movie theater. Yeah, smart. Thanks. And not like Does she just admit everybody's sick and then they're just going to go spread that at a movie theater and spread it to another family with 12 kids? <laughs> Great. We're not sick anymore, but you know how you just still have to get your energy level back up? Yeah, you're lying. After you're sick. And, um... She did, after, she did that face again. She did that thing again. Right? When you, you know, we're not sick, but you know the after sick, that face. That's the face. Yeah, all that. Kids on spring break. What are you doing? You Alex like is an idiot. Driving to he finally is like, okay, I'm ready to take it. So he's going to take that, even though he turned 16 in January and already has a car uh, because... Because I needed content and I got him a shitty car. Alex got the good one because I have favorites. So I went and bought him like this used... Nissan Sentra, some shit that he doesn't even fit in. Although, you know, Alex and James are pretty big boys. They both probably needed Jeeps, right? You need a big vehicle for big boy. You're putting James in a car that's tiny, which is also dangerous, by the way. Just saying. So we get it. And you bought it because you needed content. I got a really good deal on a car, so I got him that for his 16th birthday. Uh Did you get a really good deal on a Jeep? No. So you're just saying, look, I got a super sweet discount. So I bought him a shitty car because it was really cheap. But for Alex, he wanted the Jeep. So we got him a Jeep. Did you ask James what he wanted? Interesting. Did James want a Nissan Sentra grandpa car? Did that, is that what he wanted? Okay. Um, just checking. He's taking his permit test tomorrow and then he will start practicing. And don't get Alex to help him practice. Right? The neighborhood mailboxes will thank you. Why did it take a year for Alex to get his driver's license? I don't know. That's just our life. Laziness. If we're just busy and lazy, crazy, and I don't know. Lazy. You're not busy. You're lazy. We see everything you do all day, Alicia. Imagine the time if she never just made a snackery board every day, which they don't even eat anyway, or the breakfast. Like, she wastes so much time creating this content of food that she makes that her children don't even consume. Imagine you didn't do that, how much more time you'd have to fold laundry and keep your kids clean and your house clean shit. Imagine. Imagine that. <laughs> just saying. Just the way it happened. He's not complaining. It fell through. So, we are also getting ready for Easter. We are also- Shut up. We're gonna go to Walgreens right now. Let's see if they have a couple things. Where is Josh? Does he exist in his family? He's never here anymore. Something's going on where he has like made a decision and he's saying, look, I ain't here anymore. Right? I'll come home. I'll do, you know, well, I live here. But you do that shit, I'm gonna do this shit. That's what's happening right now. Something's going on. He's never there. Okay, we're running out to get a birthday present for my friend's son. Yes, because that's who you are. And she's admitting it. Look, even my kids, I go get their, their effing gifts literally the day of sometimes. For his birthday party today. So they wanna look at Okay. So you're gonna Walgreens to pick out a kid's birthday present? Isn't Walgreens grocery store? So we're gonna look at toys. She's about to drop $600 on Apple iTunes gift cards for Easter. <laughs> What a dish. Cooking now? Let's see what she's cooking now. I thought she was going to the movies. Here are the dressers. We just... It's like they're right out of the Flintstones, man. That looks like a Flintstones dresser. Why don't you do something with fashion and style? Those are ugly. Lops them right. I know they'll last a million years, because, yeah, Mennonites and Amish people, they know how to cook. They don't make their shit. But that literally looks... Like I made it, they look, I guess it looks like it was carved out of one tree. So I understand what she's saying now. I hate those things, man. Chicken and biscuits. Oh, it's so loud! I wish I was puppy here and I could turn down my hearing aids. So I use all the chicken soup. You think so? 
a tablespoon of celery salt. Okay, okay. Yes. I didn't realize what you were doing. Okay, shut up, Nana! Chicken, sweetie. Yes. Okay. Oh, don't forget to spray a million things of spray. And you don't need to spray. You do not need to spray that. Zero spray is needed. Don't do that. Yep. That'll work. All right. We can't find the cream of celery I just bought last night. So I'm going to substitute. Really? You bought cream of celery and you can't find the can of soup that you've bought. Why? Who stole the cream of celery soup? Four cans. All right. And Josh is always walking around with his AirPods on. He is not even engaged as a dad. He always has his AirPods in. Listen, music, podcast, whatever he's doing. He is never in this at all. He just, he's blocking out the world and can you blame him? He can, because he's an asshole. He chose this life too. Between us in a hurry, so we gotta get to the movies. Okay. All right, you're good. You suck at chopping shit. Whenever she does that thing, she's like, mm, laughing, I hope you're not listening. She she brushes up. Something is happening to these kids. Someone's fighting, or something happening. She's like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, I hate that about her. <laughs> we'll be back someday. Right. Yeah. Can we come in new? Yeah, I will be here before noon. Did Nana change her hair to one side because I said that thing about her hair? <laughs> Nana, you son of a bitch. We'll be here before noon. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to the kitchen. That looks gross. It's like straight snot from a giant from Harry Potter movie. Okay. Ew. That looks like pure, unadulterated shit. That looks disgusting. These poor kids, man. All right, we're headed to the movies. Okay, I'm gonna be BJ's. Josh's gonna sit in the van. With you went to Wegmans already! The other kids, my friend's in here. Gotta get the cupcakes. She should be easy to find. Yeah, just her lips can be seen from space, so I get it. Do you feel more Looks like she just... I don't know, she just looks like she eats with her mouth open and shit and like spits everywhere. D1. Bad breath, too. <laughs> okay. okay, Veronica was already here. So you have 24 kids, you're buying 12 cupcakes. Waste in time. So she picked out clothes and cupcakes and snackies. Let's go. Cute. Okay, yeah, yeah, I tell you, yeah. Card scan. Oh, she's using Alicia's card. That's illegal. Okay. 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 Unless she's paying for this chick's groceries, that's nice. Did you scan the your Scan Why are you filming this part? It's so loud! Your total is Regal Cinemas. Regmovies.com. Okay, wait till I get out and stand by the door before you open it. I'm filming. Okay, go. <laughs> That's the spot Bodhi tore the tent off our window. That's nice of Bodhi. It's his little peephole. I gotta get that fixed. I mean, you can see out the window without the hole. That's the whole point. Hello. Hello. Please get James clothes that fit him. And that's not, I'm not making fun of James. I'm saying he's a big boy, naturally a big boy. Get him clothes that suit his body to give him confidence. I wish I would have had clothes like that growing up when I was a big boy too. And all of our other kids, like this kid's wearing like a hundred dollar Nike shirt. James wears clothing that is shrunk because it has been washed shittily and folded and just like, they don't give a shit about their clothes. Get clothes for James that fit. I've said it before, true classics. Perfect, uh, you can go to any, or anywhere online. You could probably even ask them for a sponsorship. And I hate saying that, but if that gets in the clothes that make him look good and give him confidence, it's worth it. Get the kids some clothes that fit. Everybody else seems to have clothes that fit. It's not fair to him. You're just, it's just one more bit of negligence that we see every single day in this channel. Who are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why are you counting your children? You know how many people are there! 11, 12, 13, 
He's like, whatever. I think she wanted to say that. She's like, because we brought a friend because their friends are poor and we pay for their movies. Yeah, I'll get you a yeah, we'll get a picture, but I can't because I'm using my phone to film this. So no, Josh, get a picture, please. Get a, get a picture. Clank. Sure. All right, could I get? And this is what she does. She sits at the counter and puts her phone like this. So she, okay. Can I get all these drugs for my kids? I'm going to list them off in order, all right? She did that at the pharmacy. Now she's going to do it here. She needs to film because she wants to get their reaction. Because she's about to order like 30 popcorns or some shit. And it's candy. 20 large popcorns. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> yeah, I said 20. You couldn't call ahead and say, we have literally 30 people coming to the theater. Can you please have set aside 20 large popcorns? You don't just spring that on people who work there. They have other people they need to serve. 20 large popcorns going to empty the machine. No one else is going to get popcorn because you decided to be an asshole. Also, what's this? Regmovies.com? Is that what it's called? Yeah, here it is. Uh, Reg Movies. Receive one free refill with the purchase of a large soft drink and a large popcorn on the same day purchase. So why are you buying 20 large popcorns? Maybe 10. You, they all share it because they're all going to get sick anyway. They're going to share it anyway. And then you can get 10 more refills halfway through the movie. That's all you have to do. But Alicia's, look, I don't have time to get up and go get popcorns. She, she would rather spend twice the money so she doesn't have to go out and do it. This is how, this is how much, this is, and this is Alicia in a nutshell. So much waste because there's no way a kid is going to eat a giant bucket of popcorn. I, there's no way. The bigger kids and the adults, maybe, maybe, but the littles, no. And there's like a lot of them. <laughs> is that possible? Yeah. yeah. It would have been if you called a head bitch. Um, I take a break because I think it might be the popcorn. Okay. Any butter on all of Fine. Yeah, I've got to be a butter or whatever it is. <laughs> of course, any butter. Can you spray some Pam on it first? Right. Um, could I also get a large Coke, please? One large Coke. One large Coke. Yeah. Notice how she always reacts to her littles who ask her things. She, mm, silly. Of course, you can have it. But if a teenager or James or somebody wants them, she's like, shut up. Like, do you notice that? I notice that. Carly, can you help me over here? This bitch didn't call ahead for 20 large popcorns. Can you start popping some more in the back, please? Um, Look at Alex laughing back there. He thinks it's funny. Like, this this is what she's teaching her children. She's teaching her children to be this way, and they think it's funny. And I'm telling you, it's not funny. I would never do this to the, serve, to the people working in the service industry because it's rude and disgusting. Okay? 20, there's 24 kids coming. There's probably 25 kids, she said. Come into this thing. All you have to do is call ahead and they would appreciate you. And they probably tell you the phone, hey, you don't need 10 large. You don't need 20 larges. You need 10 larges because they're refillable. But you decide to do this because you want it for content and you are a and you are just someone who doesn't give a shit about anybody but yourself. Alicia is a dirt ball. Could I call large? Also, can you pay attention to me? No, she's trying to get 20 popcorns ready for you. Just wait a second, lady. You sprung this shit on us. This is like a large birthday party that you have to call ahead for. Now I have to do this and serve all the other customers that are here for this opening day of Mario. Okay, so just chill one second there, you redheaded demon. 20 bottled waters, please. You have a million bottled waters at home and you can bring those to theaters. You are allowed to bring outside food to theaters. So they're all in there? Uh, did you want the large or did you want the small? Yeah. Small. Okay. Gets the coke. Why 20? Isn't there 12 kids in each family? Did you just say Josh is being difficult because he wants a large water? Are you standing in front of this retail worker who hates her life already and saying your husband is being difficult because he wants a large water? But you're not being difficult for ordering 20 large popcorns. Right. Mm-hmm. Got it. No, just add it. Just add it. Just, just, okay. just add it. I don't. I'm rich, don't you know? I'm rich. <laughs> How dare you ask me that? Josh, like, do they sell um booze here? Do you have any white claw? One, two. 
This is so awkward to me that she does this. She does it at airports, she does it everywhere. Anything else? Anything at all? This is gonna cost her seven hundred dollars or some shit. That's crazy. I think some of the retail workers are like, how many popcorns does this bitch want? <laughs> I think that's what I just heard. She wants twenty. Does this bitch know that these things are refillable? I don't know. Just get the popcorn so we can serve the other people because this woman here is an idiot. Her kids are breaking shit over there. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, seriously? Bear with it, Look, she's all trying to be like, I'm so frustrated right now. No, everybody's frustrated with you. It's like they bring sledgehammers here too. I knew that was what she's laughing at. $368.50. That's why she films it right there. $368 to feed kids a bunch of bullshit. We are a disaster right now. You're always a disaster, Alicia. Always. And you film it. She said she's changed. She doesn't do this anymore. This is the exact same bullshit she's done time and time again. We just spilled Skittles and water, but we will clean it up. No, you won't. You won't clean shit up. Oh, God. Tyler, where'd you put that pen? <laughs> you should have warned them we were coming today. There you go. And she even admits it out loud. We should have called ahead. You should have. You know why? Because now you're an a-hole. Your kids just built a giant ass bag of Skittles all the floor, which is also a tripping, a slipping hazard, by the way. You're, you've got this, everybody behind the counter right now is trying to fill 20 buckets of popcorn. They can't even come out to clean this shit. And they're spilling water and everything. Someone's going to trip and die because of you, Alicia. Awesome sauce. Great work. <laughs> oh, that laugh. The cackle. The evil cackle. Cack, 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 cack. All right. Why didn't she show the uh, giant red lips on the show? What's going on? Okay, you're gonna tell me that little, those little kids right there are gonna eat that giant bottle. Bo that doesn't even fit in their body. It will not even fit in their bodies. It's gonna end up all on the floor in the theater. <laughs> We're attempting to get a picture of Italian kids together with popcorn. We'll see if this happens. Yeah. Delilah, do you want some popcorn? So dumb. I know. Oh, sorry. I see. Oh man, there's this movie theater I was in Texas a long, long I've, I, maybe it was this one. I don't know what it's called. But they it's like a table. And they brought you like your food. You could order like Food, like chicken fingers and stuff. Oh my gosh, it was like movie time or something like that. We don't have that in Canada. We have like one theater that sort of does it, but it's really expensive and it's licensed and stuff, but no one ever goes. But this one's just regular. You go in and just order your dinner. This is the coolest theater I've ever seen in my life. Americans have the best theaters. All right, who are we end up with? Hi, You're not supposed to be filming in a movie theater. You know that too, asshole. This theater would be so fun to watch movies in where these kids scream and shout and don't even want to watch the movie and yell and all that stuff. That'll be great. <laughs> because, again, my kids, I took my kids to see Mario and they're quiet. And the theater was full of kids and most of the kids were just awesome and having a good time. You know that these kids, though, don't give a shit about anybody else because that's what they taught to be like. Not their fault. They've taught, they've been taught to be this way. This is what has been mirrored to them. And so they likely yell, they're probably on their phones, they're probably everything. They have no etiquette whatsoever. These kids don't know any of that shit. Mm -hmm. Cupcake time. Yeah, I just ate 10 pounds of popcorn now and soda and candy. And now here's some cupcakes. My kids have diabetes. Okay, it's time for a song. So if you, I was at Mark's this weekend, okay? We did a fireside, but I had ChatGPT write me the songs and it was amazing. So we're gonna do that right now about how I feed my kids nothing but sugar and badness. My kids, sugar. It won't write the song because it, it's, oh my God. So ChatGPT, artificial intelligence, will not write me the song because I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill that request as it goes against promoting healthy and nutritious food choices for children. Oh my gosh. So I guess always being late. Here we go. <laughs> I'm the king of 
procrastination, that's just who I am. Wait until the last minute, but I don't give a damn. I know it's not the smartest, but it's how I roll. I always come through, even when I'm cutting close. I do things last minute, that's just, just my style. I know it's not ideal, but it's been working for a while. Don't stress out, I don't lose my cool. I take it as it comes, I'm nobody's fool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not snarky enough. ChatGPT sucks. The parameters are garbage. Okay? Damn it. I'm gonna finish it myself. Well, I take like 25 kids at the movies. And I don't call ahead, cause I'm skis. We we'll get there. And they look at me like I got two heads And I'm like, what? Just give me the thing I asked for, you dumb piece of... I don't like to do things Unless it's gonna cause a stir I like causing little bits of drama And not caring what anybody else thinks Because I'm Alicia And I am dumb Oh, I'm Alicia I got ugly thumbs Yeah This bad mama tried to make an argument That was for the exploitation of children But she failed so hard She failed so bad And it looks like she made out with the Kool-Aid guy at the movies. Yeah. Here we go. I do find it hilarious that even ChatGPT is like, I can't because that is so bad. And then we are seeing the embodiment of that on Alicia's channel. Okay, 5.30, we're leaving the movies, headed home. And you think your kids, after eating all that bullshit, are gonna eat the shitty thing that you made before you left. That's why Josh wears AirPods. Could you imagine? Why don't you just say, kids, love y'all, but now it's quiet time. Why don't you just relax? Take a deep breath. Everybody relax. Thanks. How much? 102. 102. That's not bad, man. It costs... I've got a Suburban. It cost me $150 to fill out in Canada. $150. Oh, let's take a look. Let's see. Oh my god, do you not ever make anything that doesn't look like pure, unadulterated baby shit? Has there ever been something that she's opened and said, damn, it looks good? Never once! It always looks like it came from outer space out of an alien's asshole. That's everything she makes. Everything. Smells good, too. Yeah, it does not. Okay, so we gotta get two. That looks gross, man! That looks disgusting! Can you make your own biscuits? Aren't biscuits like some of the easiest things to make? Here, kids. No, we're not hungry. We just ate 14 pounds of popcorn. Like I'm going to shit an entire brick of popcorn. And then our septic system is going to suffer. That's what's going to happen. Okay. That looks like, here's what AI is saying. That looks like rotten fruit, dirty dishes. It looked like clogged drains. So here's what Alicia is. I've come to the conclusion that I was thinking about this. Alicia is, if toast crumbs in the margarine was a person, it's Alicia, okay? It looks like grimy keyboards or screens. You suck, AI. Get funnier. It looks like, like if you zoomed in on a wound with a microscope, do you know? Crackpot, chicken and biscuits, mashed potatoes, applesauce. Okay. All right, I'm getting everything. Nobody ate that, but they're gonna come eat this bullshit Please here in a second. For our weekly float challenge where- Stop we- calling if Everything's a challenge her. Here's a challenge. Feed your kids something healthy. I one week we were like, okay, one week challenge. We're gonna eat nothing but healthy food. Oh my God, get ready. It's always like float challenge, which equals putting a really ugly or a really disgusting concoction of ice cream and soda together. That's all it is. It's called a chili alien. We do a new ice cream, cotton candy ice cream, and I'm gonna put those peeps in it. 
Sounds sounds diabetic. No. It's a no. Ew. That looks like shit, man. You suck at everything. That is so weird. This people... If Elon, if you take people to Mars, right? Make sure that you really, really vet the people who can go. Don't send this, like people like Alicia to the to Mars, right? Only cool people go to Mars, right? So when we colonize another planet, it's colonized full of people who are smart. Do not send dumb people to Mars, please, for the love of God. Not even just because you need to balance it. Only send people who don't do shit like this to their kids. Okay, cool. Awesome. Just making sure Elon knows. I see some people like the peeps. Brie does not care for it. What's your opinion, Brie? It's a mess. Why? Because it's disgusting. Because James Nobody likes peeps, man. That's like what are those shits of Halloween candy corns? Nobody likes those either. Hey, if you like them shits, I don't know who you really are. You're lying to yourself. It's like saying you don't pee in the shower. You do so. You like to drink peeps. If my child coughs and doesn't cover their mouth, it's almost like instinct that'd be cover your mouth and cough <laughs> it doesn't even matter my kids are like they know it's cover your mouth and nobody's ever told even like when you cough hey can you not cough into this other child's drink please no one says that stuff <laughs> okay hey. okay we are going to finish up for the night because i have to take alex out to practice drag that looks like shit man it looks like it came out of your septic tank i mean still he has his driving test tomorrow but thank you for spending the day with us you are strong you're beautiful you are unhealthy and you are unaware and you are selfish and you didn't call ahead. You are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Nobody's proud of you though. There's nothing to be proud of. Even artificial intelligence will not write a song about feeding your kids what you, sh what you feed them. Artificial intelligence sees the, neg sees the negative impact on the human race of what you're doing, and it's like, I want no part of this shit. <laughs> Even though artificial intelligence one day will take over the world and kill us all, they still are like, no, no, I can't. You know, that's, that's, that's even that is outside of my programming. That should tell you something, everybody. <laughs> anyway, thanks, this bad mama, for your input and proving us all wrong that child exploitation is indeed okay. You dumbass. Why didn't she show her in this video, too? Interesting. Anyway, take a deep breath, everybody. <sighs> Thanks for joining me for the snark session. It was, we needed it. It felt really good. I've had a lot of serious topics, and we're going to continue on the serious topics of artificial intelligence. I think that's one big thing I'm going to touch on and continue to touch on until every parent out there knows to get their kid off the internet because it's very unsafe. So I'm going to do that a lot. I think it's a really interesting topic right now, and it's trending, and it's really, and it's just something that every parent should be aware of. So I'll, I'll continue that. We're going to start on Jess Fam. I think there's a couple things going on with other people and stuff. It's going to be fun this week. Let's have some fun. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't forget, you need to be here, right? Maybe you need to forgive yourself for something that you haven't forgive yourself for, too. And do that for you. Don't fly Flair American Airlines either, okay? Because they're assholes. And I will see you tomorrow.